So a few years ago, I put together a video to share with you guys how I like to grow French tarragon. I love French tarragon for cooking, and if you live in the right climate, it will come back for you every year. I have learned over the years that it is very picky. It's a picky little herb. It's probably been one of the hardest for me to grow. It's very temperature sensitive, and but the nice thing is it does come back for me, and I can take cuttings and make new plants. And so in that video, I showed how I use a rooting hormone to take cuttings and to make more plants. And I also showed you how I like to divide my uh, plants every year so I have more plants that, that way as well. Um, however, uh, what I used for my cuttings was a rooting hormone. And um, I had a lot of comments where people suggested that I use um, other things that might work just as well and be a little bit more natural such as cinnamon and honey so I took that request and I thought I would do an experiment and just compare those using tarragon cuttings and not other um, herbs I know thyme and oregano mint those are very easy this one's a little bit harder so I got to work comparing it with cinnamon and the rooting hormone and this is an example where I was doing six of each different types of cuttings, some from the woody growth, some from the um, new growth. And I just kept them misted, kept them in my house under grow lights. It did not take long at all before they all started to die. I think only one lived and I do not have any uh, idea why it lived and the other ones didn't. That did happen to be the rooting hormone, but um, the other rooting hormones, they all died. So I tried again, this time I was going to use honey, the rooting hormone, and cinnamon. Uh, again, all of those died. I don't have a picture of that because I was kind of getting frustrated at this point. <laughs> and so I, I tried again, so this is probably the third year, you know, that um, I'm trying to figure out another way to uh, propagate the tarragon. So I thought that I would use cinnamon, just cinnamon, I'm not going to compare it with rooting hormones or anything like that and I did not take them inside my house remembering that tarragon is very temperature sensitive so I just stuck them in my little pot that I keep outside for uh, overflow I call them overflow plants things that I might not want to throw away but I might want to save them and see what happens well uh, about a month later uh, they were still doing great so I was so happy about this and um, I started to move, I moved one out uh, in mid-May and because I didn't want to lose them all if, if they were, if I was going to lose them I wanted to go ahead and at least get one and I would just see how the rest of them went. So I packed that in some good soil and I also started to feed them at this point. Um, tar tarragon really does not like to be fed too much because it will lose flavor and grow real fast. I'm pretty conservative as far as to how much I feed uh, French tarragon and I kept that one watered and then um, uh, in June the other ones I went ahead and I pulled those out as well. Now they were starting to brown a little bit. I just think the heat was taking a toll on the tarragon so I wanted to go ahead and move them out. kept them watered and I fed them and they were looking really good I kept them in a little shady area just to kind of cool them down a little bit I was also growing here some flowers up there in the corner that's not um, actually French tarragon that's sweet William flowers and so um, when I started to notice some new growth on the plants which was only in about a week I guess they really liked their new location and I was feeding them too uh, I moved them into my garden bed. I made a new bed by my house so that they will be protected from the summer heat and get just a little bit of sun and um, they had a nice root system on there and so I'm just thrilled that the cinnamon worked and so if I want to take cuttings I'll just use cinnamon I won't move them in and out of my house and I'll just try to monitor the temperature uh, however I still think that just dividing a plant 
provided that you have a few existing plants uh, is probably the easiest way to get French tarragon uh, growing in other areas in your garden. Um, but if you only have one plant and they are kind of hard to find, go ahead and let it get established that first year or two before you start taking cuttings. But for me, I have a lot of plants all throughout my yards and my other gardens, so I like to just divide them. And it's so delicious. I primarily use tarragon in dressings and sauces. And so this is just a cabbage and fennel slaw, I think is what this was. And it was really delicious. I love them in eggs. Uh, tarragon is great in eggs. So anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, garden experiment. I have a few others on my channel. Those are always fun to do. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.